ocean waves can be powerful, containing enough energy to push around sand, pebbles, and even boulders during storms. These waves could be tapped as a source of renewable energy because wind and solar power aren't suitable for underwater applications. Wave energy could someday power floating buoys, lighthouses to help ships navigate, or underwater power stations. Now researchers reporting in ACS Nano have developed flexible power generators that mimic the way seaweed sways. These generators can efficiently convert surface and underwater waves into electricity to power marine-based devices, such as the blinking LED lights at the top of this buoy. Previously, researchers had developed floating devices to harness the ocean's continuous movement as a renewable energy source. Although these devices worked well for large surface waves, they were inefficient at producing electricity from less frequent, smaller waves, including those found deep underwater. One way to address the challenge could be using the static electricity produced when surfaces come in contact, like the balloon and this boy's hair. Triboelectric nanogenerators, or TANGs, can take the static electricity that is created when two conductive surfaces touch each other and turn it into an electrical current. Min Yishu, Zhonglin Wang, and colleagues were inspired by the way strands of seaweed vibrate as waves move over and around them. They wanted to copy that movement with flexible surfaces that could charge a tang to efficiently harvest the wave's energy into enough electricity to power multiple LEDs, for example. To make the flexible devices, the researchers coated strips of two different polymers in a conductive ink. Then they wedged a small sponge between the strips, creating a thin air gap and sealed the entire unit with waterproof tape. As the seaweed-like tanks were moved up and down in water, they bent back and forth, and the air gap between the conductive strips disappeared, generating electricity. In another test, the device even worked when the water pressure was increased to simulate a depth of 30 feet, where there is almost no underwater wave movement. Finally, the researchers used a wave tank to demonstrate that multiple seaweed-like devices could be used as a mini underwater power station, supplying enough energy for a thermometer's readout, as well as a blinking miniature lighthouse beacon. The researchers say their seaweed-like generators could reduce the reliance on batteries for both floating and submerged sensors in coastal zones.